what kind of chemistry happens uh, with, you know, sediment building up on top of the wood or these fossils to be able to preserve it for you to find today? That's a good question. So the wood and the fossil wood and the fossil bones preserve in actually very different ways. Um, but they're, they're similarly linked um, with one common theme being the silica in the, in the sediment. So all those rivers, lakes, and streams were being... Um, were being filled with ash, volcanic ash, from a volcano range that was rising up in what's now California and Nevada. And so those things are constantly throwing hot ash uh, into the into the depositional basin. And that ash includes the mineral silica, which is quartz. It's in the fancy word for quartz. And depending on the different um, oxidation reduction chemistry of the water, its pH, you know, things like that, that quartz can get hypersaturated in the water. It will dissolve. And just like today, you know, you have groundwater movement that'll interact with those buried dead animals and plants. In the case of wood, um, one molecule of lignin or wood tissue is replaced by one molecule of quartz or silicon dioxide. And that happens over about 10,000 year period. As long as that doesn't get, uh, that log doesn't get, you know, raised and start rotting, then, you know, over time your wood becomes entirely quartz. Now, in the case of fossil bone, because the bone already has a hard, hard part, you know, that hard tissue, the bone tends to still be bone chemically here. So you, we've done an analyses to show that the hard part of the bone is still the hydroxyapatite that you, your bones and my bones are made out of. And the Triassic reptiles made their bones out of the same thing. But instead of one to one replacing that bone, it's all the tiny pore spaces where nerves, blood vessels, blood cells, things that were inside that bone, that's what that silica is actually filling in. So in the case of the wood, we get a fossilization process called replacement. And in the case of the bones and the teeth, it's called permineralization. So petrified is just kind of an overall term for fossilized. It could mean any number of kind of uh, fossilization process. So to be honest, if we were to be named after the most abundant fossil in the park, we would be petrified mussel national park because <laughs> the bivalve mussels vastly outnumber any kind of plants or animals when you go out and walk along the surface. But 